Hi, I'm Lisa Lapwing and I'm here today to talk to you about the course I have at this year's Kasoma Conference about utilizing TCM to treat male infertility. I graduated from AOMA in 2010 and almost immediately fell into treating men's sexual health. Over the years, I have become an expert in the subject through much reading, research, attending courses provided by other men's healthcare specialists, creating relationships with men's health focused practitioners, and continuing to treat male patients while staying in clear communication with them about what was yielding results and what wasn't. My patients have been my biggest teachers, as some of you who've been in practice for a while may very well know. I've had my personal practice whole health acupuncture since 2011, and I have also worked for other facilities with various other healthcare professionals, ranging from massage therapists to medical doctors in Texas and here in Florida, and I currently reside and practice in Windermere. Over the years, I've seen all subsets of male patients, different ages, different socioeconomic status, different race, many veterans, and the gamut of condition that has come with these gentlemen. So there is so much focus on female fertility these days within biomedical medicine and alternative medicine, but very little attention is paid to male infertility, especially in TCM. And it is estimated that one in seven couples is infertile. In up to half of these couples, male infertility does play a role. So there's a gap there, there's a disconnect, there's opportunity to heal the complete male as well as the complete family unit. And that to me is very inspirational to see a family happy and healthy together, feeling good about themselves, right? So there's a lot of clinical application that's going to be presented in this course, very useful practical information for you. After taking it, you'll be able to start confidently treating male infertility in your clinic by utilizing the information I present, including common pattern differentials and the acupuncture points that best go with those differentials, and we'll talk lifestyle, diet recommendations, and so forth. My goal is to give you, again, this practical information so you can confidently add this to your list of conditions treated and be able to start treating this condition the very next time you practice. Taking this course will deepen your understanding of why male infertility occurs so that again, you can treat it in turn broadening your scope of practice. This course will be extremely useful to you if you specialize not only in men's sexual health, but family practice and planning. So, Success can be hard to measure, right? As we know, each person is genuinely unique and there's a lot that goes into treating someone successfully. And it can be from the practitioner's techniques and abilities to patient compliance. Overall, the acupuncture protocols, other modalities I offer up in this course have turned out to be very successful for me in treating male infertility over the last decade. More successful than not. In this course, we will, as mentioned, discuss common pattern differentials and acupuncture protocols, such as presented in my case study on male infertility in the FISOMA Conference Journal. This case is primarily spleen chi deficiency. Hopefully you get to read it before this or you can look forward to reading it after you see this. In this case, a 31 year old male who was diagnosed with low sperm motility and morphology came to me because he and his wife wanted to conceive a child. They wanted to have a family. She did not have any fertility issues herself. And after a six month course of Clomid that my patient took, which did nothing, it's a common fertility medication, he came to me to take a more natural route. Using spleen tonifying points in this case, 
and other general points to enhance male fertility after only five treatments, he and his wife were able to successfully conceive a child. This is the best case scenario, which is why I presented it. It's a very easy, clear cut um, case that it displays and exemplifies how successful acupuncture can be. After this gentleman was on a medication for six months, I just didn't do anything. Five treatments of pointed acupuncture and he and his wife were able to conceive. Pretty magical in my opinion. So we'll talk about, again, those protocols, these differentials that can really help you sort through some of the most common things you'll see in association to male infertility. And of course, we'll talk about the biomedical aspect. What do some of these terms mean? Sperm morphology, motility, so that you guys have a clear and complete understanding of this condition so you can successfully treat it and get your patients pregnant, happy, and healthy. I look forward to seeing you in my course. You can reach out to me at any time you need to. Thank you.